Welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to be talking about the elastic deform brush. So let's go ahead and start a new Blender project and let's go ahead and save it as, we'll just call it elastic deform and save as. Go ahead and set up Suzanne for sculpting. So just click on the monkey, add the mat caps if you want, and add your multi-resolution to give us some resolution to sculpt with. I'm just going to crank it up to maybe five and let's swap over to sculpt mode with control tab down. And so today we're gonna to be using the Elastic Deform. This one is really fun. So notice you've got your radius and you've got your strength, uh, no plus and minus. And under our tools, we've got you know our auto smooth as usual, some normal weights, and we've got a few different options for our deformation, which we'll go over, and the volume preservation. So before we dive into that, let's just you know scale up our brush with F and just click and drag, looky there. So it is similar to the grab, but this one's a little more rubbery. So this is gonna be good if you're doing kind of like human type deformations or for animals or things like that. Something you want kind of like a more organic look. It's actually going to stretch a lot of the material with it and kind of makes everything look a little bit more uh, rubbery, if you ask me. So just push around different parts of Suzanne and see what you can get to uh, get her to look like uh, just using this brush. So after you've done that a little bit, let's look at our options over here in our tool panel. And look here, we've got the deformation. So it's gonna be default to try scale grab, which is the most fun one and kind of the most um, you know intense one that's gonna pull a lot of material. Uh, but you can also just switch it to grab which is going to grab things, but it's a little less intense. Notice I'm, I'm pulling and grabbing, but it's just barely moving. And then if I do the bi-scale grab, it's actually compounding from the grab to the bi-scale grab and just pulling more from the center of the brush. So this one's gonna be a little bit more of a pull. So notice we've got a little bit more. And the tri-scale, which is the default, is gonna be the most elastic one. So it's really gonna be able to stretch uh, you know those and those all compound so it's the grab then it gets a little bit more intense with the bi scale then the tri scale is your you know your default then we also have scale which is going to adjust you know say if we wanted to scale up this nose it's very 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 tiny you can barely see it if if i move my mouse back and forth you can kind of see the nose is ever 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 so slightly pulsating and you can also use your volume preservation. The higher the number, it will actually preserve the volume more, but it could lead to more bulging. So, you know, just play around with those. But it's very, almost, almost, un, you can barely even see it. Like, you have to move your mouse really dramatically. Like, I'm going from one side of my monitor to the other, and you can see the nose is barely, barely scaling. So that's just the elastic deform with the scale on. And then you also have the twist, which is kind of like the scale. It's very, very, very minute. So notice if I just barely, if I click and drag, it's actually twisting the nose, but ever, ever, ever so slightly. So another way you can do this is scale down your brush and then click and drag. And you'll notice the more you drag, it is actually twisting. You know, it just takes quite a lot of movement from your mouse. So you can kind of see the nose is getting twisted there. And you don't want to overdo it, otherwise you'll destroy the mesh. But that is what that deformation does. So that is the Elastic Deform. Again, feel free to play with this as long as you want. It's super fun. I'm going to put it back to the default, which is try scale grab. And just start moving around my monkey here and see what I can do. Maybe just try some weird deformations. And once you feel like you've got this tool kind of under control, and another thing, like we were saying, it doesn't have a subtraction, but you can still hold control. And what that will do is wherever you decide to grab, if you hold control and click and grab, it's going to lock it to that normal. Because notice how it's just going up and down. It's kind of like locking it to an axis. So that's if you hold control. But if I undo that and say if I take the same spot and click and drag, notice it can go all over the place. You know, but if I hold control, it's going to lock it in. So those are just some different things you can do uh, with the control tab. Control just gives you more control, essentially. <laughs> so once you feel like you've gotten um, a handle on the elastic deformation, then let's go ahead and jump into the next lesson, which is the snake hook.